when it comes to commercial competency, again that is an area. So again, Vietnam is a step ahead in launching the sales training program for 2015. So you can see that there is a very good alignment of what is the bigger agenda for business in Asia, what are my focus issues, and what each country is also focusing on. What does that mean? Any initiatives that you see in Vietnam, you can be rest assured that they are fully aligned and there is a full backing and support from my side to each country that what good initiatives they want to implement. So you have to trust that any new initiative is done with a purpose. You really need to take the opportunity and learn from any program that you are going through. Also, we have a big list of other uh, priorities. I will just keep this. It's a big list of uh, initiatives. Uh, for the next year, as I said, we also have a strong uh, growth plan. So I will again uh, just uh, slip on this one. So what's... Uh, we are growing in Asia and we also have growth ambition. What is the success story behind it? How we manage to grow like that? So this slide is a simple example of that. If you look at this slide, the volumes, you see something 54% and 46%. The 54% is what we call as premium offerings, which is Yara Mila and Yara Liva and some other specialty products like Yara Vita and other water soluble products. And when you look at the 46%, that is where the urea and the Vietnam blends they all fall into it. But if you see the volumes, they are almost 50-50. But when you look at the value, the profitability, 88% is coming from the premium offerings. Only 12% is coming from urea and other products. What does that mean? You want to grow more here or here? So I have a question for you. To be more successful, how many of you feel that we should grow in green? Please raise your hands. You didn't understand the question? You can see the profits have been growing from 98 million to 156 and the Krogi has been very good. So all in all the results are very good. This is so far. What is the plan for next three years? <clears throat> this is how we want to grow. So from almost 1.1 million tons of Yara Mila, we want to go to 1.46 million tons. So we just want to grow by another 360,000. It's a huge ambitious plan we have. When it comes to Yara Liva, we are only 100,000 tons. We want to grow to 143,000 tons. So we have a huge growth ambitious plan. Just to give you how each country looks in this, Thomas, I just added this slide because of our morning discussion. So if you look at this, Vietnam, so we want to grow from here to 1.4. By 2020, we want to go to 1.6 million tons of Mila. And we want to go to 180,000 tons of Liva. This is the overall ambition. But if you just look at Vietnam, we want to go from 50 to 85. That's why I said, even if you achieve 80,000 tons in Mila, that's a very good ambitious plan. But today you are around 18, 19,000 tons of Yara Mila because of some uh, unforeseen things in 2014. So even achieving an 80,000 tons of Mila and achieving about 24,000 tons of Liva, which will make about 110,000 tons, and then maybe another 30, 40,000 tons of blend, even if Yara Vietnam can achieve 130, 140,000 tons by 2020, it's a great achievement. But from, I can send this to you, no problem. So from a level of 20 to go to 85, you have to grow by four times in Yara Vietnam. That's also a significant ambition. How do we grow? Simple answer to this. Believe in this. Very simple. We have to believe in Yara Crop Nutrition. We have 
excellent products. We have very good brand. How we take the products and the brand to the farmers and to the distributors is what is important. For that, we have to believe in this one. Yara Crop Nutrition. And I'm sure you have seen this many times. And Yara Crop Nutrition has main three elements. One is the crop knowledge. The second one is the product portfolio, which we already have. Crop, nutrition, uh, crop knowledge also we have in our system. The application tools, lots of tools are there. So all this is already there. And no other company has so much that Yara has. So we already have this strength. It's a matter of taking this strength to the farmer and the distributor. That's what you guys have to do. So this is a very interesting, uh, how we actually do this journey. It starts with only when we are curious. If you find something you want to understand, and I'm sure there is an activity in the afternoon, I'm sure the winners will only be the ones who will be curious. If you are not curious, you will not show interest. You have to show interest, curiosity. What is this? I want to know. When you are curious, it starts bringing out creativity. You will think, why only this way? Why not this way? No, you think different. When you think different, you come with very different ideas. You come with something that you want to do differently. So that's where the innovation starts. Okay? If there is no innovation, you wouldn't have had the iPhones, right? iPhone is an innovation. WhatsApp, Facebook, even emails. So when you think different, you come with new things. And when you come with new things, you differentiate. That is why iPhone is different compared to other phones because people see the real value and the real difference. And once you get that, you really create the value, which again iPhone is an example, you have the value. You see the value, that is why we go for iPhones or Samsungs, right? So, and then, once you create a value, then again curiosity starts. What else I can do? What more we can do? So it's a cycle. So, this is a very important cycle that you all should try to understand and this is not important only to sell Yara Mila Yara Leva. This is also important in our family, in our life. If you have children, if your children want to become, one child want to become doctor or engineer, first thing starts curiosity. What is doctor? Why I want to become? And then the children will study like that. The parents will also support giving them good education, sending them to different universities. So everything is all about starting with curiosity. Then the question is, who should be curious? Is it only me? Is it only Mary? Or is it only Thomas? Who should be curious? Is it the responsibility of only country manager or chief agronomist Mr. Tan? Who should be curious? I think the answer is, this one. It starts with all of us and each one of us should be curious. It's not only me, not just Mary, every one of us should be very curious. When we are curious, what will happen? You want to do something different. Then this will start. What is that? It starts with ambition. Then you become ambitious, right? If you go to a nice hotel and you see a beautiful swimming pool, you want to jump into the pool and do the swimming. That is the ambition. Ambition is, I want to do swimming, I want to get into it. That's not, it starts like that. Once you have ambition, sometimes there are activities or actions that you will not be able to do alone. You need some support, some knowledge, some tools to fulfill or achieve the goal.
then you need teamwork because once you have ambition to achieve. So in a company like Yara Vietna, yes, there is an ambition for volume. How will the volume ambition be achieved? Sales people should be able to sell. Agronomy people, expert function should be able to bring the knowledge. Marketing people should be able to create the marketing concepts. Supply chain should be able to deliver on time, right? Finance people should be able to keep track of all the payments, payments going in, payments going out. HR people need to support the whole organization. And the country manager need to provide the direction, give all the support. So it's all about teamwork. Just having ambition is like having something on the wall, but nothing happens. So you need to have teamwork. And once you start building the teamwork, there are different people. There are lots of different things. So everybody is not the same. Like all our five fingers, they are not the same. One is long, one is short. And each finger can't do the same job. If you want to shoot an arrow, you need thumb. If you don't have the thumb, you can't shoot the arrow. So each finger has its own function. So like in a team, when different people are there, each person has different role to play. So when you have the different roles, and what has to come next? Trust. You need to trust the other members in your team. That's very, very important. And that has been a very important aspect uh, that we were discussing whole of yesterday. So once the trust is there, then the ambition is there, the teamwork is there, the trust is there, then people act to achieve the goals. While acting and trying to achieve the goals, sometimes you achieve the goals, sometimes you fail, you don't achieve the goals. So then next thing comes, you celebrate everything that you achieve, but if something goes wrong, then immediately the team starts saying, no, 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 I didn't do anything wrong, it was his fault. He says, no, 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 it was his fault. That is not right. So, we need to have accountability. When something goes well, we should say, yes, we did it. When something goes wrong, we should also be able to say, okay, we went wrong. Take the accountability for success as well as a failure. That is accountability. So in that sense, you see how nicely these things are aligned, the Yara values. It is very important that you try to understand this because the next part of what I am going to share with you, it is very fundamental. So that is why Yara has chosen these four values. It is extremely important that you focus on these values and try to make them as part of your life. You implement them. Right? It is not just again while you are working in Yara. I think these are also general beliefs that you can bring into your normal day-to-day -day life. I touched upon these four values. I have explained to you these four values, why they are important for Yara, why they are important for each one of you while working for Yara, as well as every time of your life. So, I thought it's important to touch upon these Yara values, also more so because of the unfortunate developments that have happened in 2014. 2014, in the sales functions, we have noticed there were certain things which uh, were not as per Yara's standards or Yara's way of working. So it is all the more important that all of us remind ourselves about these values. So what I'll do now is I will try to take you through a small sharing on each of these values. So as you see next slides, each of these four values, they come with a specific story which is there on the slide in English and which is also there in Vietnamese type there. But I think our translator will read the Vietnamese part of the story, the translated story, 
try to understand. Once he finishes reading that, then I will come back with my comments. So this first slide is going to be about ambition. So this is the story coming up on ambition. You can also read it for yourself in the I want to do good for this company because I work for this company then it is all the more important that you should have the right feelings to come forward and make the right let's say bring the right, right issues in front so to me I think you really need to respect this and this is part of your values and there is a long list of things on the other side which I would strongly encourage that you pick this is an area that I really want to improve. That is something I will ask HR to coordinate and work further. So let's move on to the next value. That's about trust. So again, like in the case of ambition, the next slide will show a story, which is again in English and Vietnamese. So the translator will read that part of the Vietnamese version. So please uh, listen to that. Very simple story. So the little girl was more comfortable in asking her dad to hold the hand rather than the opposite. So it all starts with trust, right? So same way, you have to get this feeling of trust in you, that you trust your line manager, whether it is Thomas or Thuk or Mr. An or uh, Mr. Tan or Mr. Tong from Plan, I think or Mr. Mehdi, Event is going to be an excellent learning for that. If you go out as a team to do some task, if you don't trust the other team members, what will happen? Each of the team members will have their own theory, their own way of working. Never the team will come together. So a teamwork will actually prevail when you have the trust. You have to build the trust. It's extremely important. Again, I would uh, request the translator to read the Vietnamese translation. Same way, it is very important. It has to be unconditional. So same in our way of working, whether it's an agronomist or a sales guy or a marketing, we have to be a team work. As you can see, Ms. Plum, who survived from such fatal fall, he survived simply because Someone in his team has packed his parachute properly. So it's very important. So it's important to recognize that in a teamwork, sometimes someone's contribution is not that visible, but I think it's very important that in a teamwork, there are lots of people contributing. Yeah? So here again there are a lot of points related to teamwork but again I would request the translator to read it through. Okay, uh, I think he has read it already. So you have to uh, follow again what you really want to implement and again I will ask HR to assist you in uh, identifying some specific points that you want to pick and work on so that you can build the teamwork. But I think it is extremely important that you understand the importance of these values and also the teamwork because it's a huge team. I think today's program and the next two days is actually meant to bring you through this spirit of teamwork. So I really hope that you take this into your heart and then work with more positive spirit in the days and the years to come to build that team spirit amongst you guys. The next important value, which is the fourth one, 
is the accountability. So it's again same. There's a story in Vietnamese version in English. So the translator will read the Vietnamese version for you. No final solution. Whereas the second son goes, he himself comes with all possible options and finally the deal is done. So I think this is also very important of course in India. The first son is not taking that accountability, okay? My dad asked me this, I go, ask the question, come back. Second time go and come back. But the second son, he took the accountability. Okay, dad asked me something, but ultimately this is the result he wants. So he took, takes the accountability of finding all possible options to provide the final solution. So that is accountability. So when we are working for Yara or in your life or anything, when we really feel that ownership, when we have that ambition, we feel that accountability, we try to deliver and we put all best possible efforts to deliver. So that's why it's again an extremely important value. Each one of you really need to take it to heart and build into your way of working for Yara, way of leading your life. So like for other cases, again there is I think that is a very simplistic definition of accountability. 